I, I guess I really want to know, what did you want these numbers to be? Because I know you want the economy to grow. At the same time, you got to get your arms around inflation. Are these good numbers, bad numbers, okay numbers? Well, absolutely. What we learned today is that uh, the Commerce Department estimates that in the third quarter, GDP grew about 2.6%. Uh, so that suggests that there is resilience, there is strength in this economy, even as the Fed uh, begins to, you know, the Fed is going through a tightening cycle uh, to, to tame inflation. So if we were to get under the hood, what we saw is that there is continued resilience in consumer spending, but it did ease. So that is consistent with what the Fed is trying to do. We also saw that, saw that businesses continue to invest, uh, but again, that is slowing as the Fed, uh, as we would hope. The big drag on the GDP last quarter was in housing investment. Again, that's the sector that we would think would be most sensitive and susceptible to the to rate increases. The big win or the big the big wind uh, in the growth of the GDP came from net exports. You know, we'll see how that gets revised. But overall, what this report tells us is that the economy remains robust. It remains resilient, even as we're starting to see the kinds of uh, cooling that I believe the Fed is looking for. Well, and that's my question. Can you have this robust a growth and get your arms around inflation at the same time? Because a lot of people are very concerned, as you know, about inflation. Yeah, absolutely. So we also got unemployment insurance claims today uh, that they remain low as well, suggesting that our labor market remains uh, quite low. This is an un this is an unusual economy, and we are we haven't had inflation in decades, but we also haven't had this kind of economic crisis. So I I, I believe we have to follow the data, and and we obviously try to look around corners. But these data suggest to me that we are seeing the kinds of cooling that uh, that we would expect to be seeing as the Fed increases interest rates. Uh, you know, we will see what happens going forward. We know that the global economy is fragile, uh, and but we also know that the U.S. economy resil is resilient, and we remain optimistic that there is a path uh, by which the Fed can tame inflation without generating too much pain in the overall economy.